Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got a great standing abs workout that is perfect for women of a certain age. You guys, today there is no cardio, so there's no jumping, but there's also no transitions up and down from the ground and no equipment needed. There's a warm up and a cool down included though, so when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's get moving and grooving. And that means that we're getting started with some arm circles with high knees. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay, no matter how fast you started, slow it down a little bit. <laughs> you guys, today, today is a whole nother speed. We are doing standing abs today, and I want you to know that today is one of my very favorite kinds of workouts. It is it is meant to be moderate, and I mean that like no matter what, no matter what your goal is right now. If you are trying to lose weight, if you are doing some body shaping, if you are you know toning up, getting fit, no matter what, there is always space in your weekly routine for a workout like this. And in fact, if you'd like to know how to put together your weekly routine, I've got a five-page information resource for you. Just open up the description box below on either your desktop or your mobile so that you can download my how to make your workout work for you. It's this this workout has such such a place in my heart. We are not moving fast. There's no cardio and yet and yet even even for a moderate day this is this is going to be challenging. Here's the thing. When we're doing standing abs it's basically balance work and balance work for me especially is always a work in progress. And that's why I designed today's workout you know, people ask me all the time how to get better at balance. How can I how can I make this not so hard? And I want you to know that balance is still hard for me and I've been working on my balance for over 10 years. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. This is a little bit faster just because otherwise I will fall off balance right now. <laughs> And that's the thing, I want you to know, I am probably gonna fall off balance today. I do, it's fine. I never ever expect you to be perfect at anything that we are doing. And I never expect you to do any more than your best. That is, that is kind of the, that's kind of the point of today's workout. People ask me all the time, like I said, people ask me, how can I get better at balance? And honestly, the only way to get better at balance is to get better at it, to practice it, and to accept the fact that sometimes it is not gonna look pretty. Sometimes you're gonna be wobbling all over the place. Sometimes, for the first, um, hello, three years that I was practicing balance, I needed something to hang on to. This is not a test, it never is. This is always, always, always just you and I in our living rooms doing our best having a good laugh, certainly, when we fall over, but also not trying to make this into anything other than what it is. We're practicing, we're getting better. Even if it doesn't feel like it in today's workout, the next time you come back to this, you'll be better at it. The next time after that, you'll be better at it. I've been working on my balance for 10 years and I still wobble, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, am I better than I was. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. My friends, if you are new here, I do hope that you will subscribe and click that bell notification so that YouTube will let you know when I upload new workouts because I upload new workouts every week and they're always okay they're, they're not always this speed but they're always they're always just right for us at this age you know here's my thing about standing abs we are working on your deep core stabilizers and your balance work I don't care how old or how young you are, balance is always a critical, functional part of your life. And, I mean, especially at our age, I'd rather you practice staying on your feet now before you're not on your feet, my friends. Here's the thing. We're practicing in relatively speaking small doses. Some of these intervals are gonna feel real long, but relatively speaking small doses. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for 30 second intervals of work and 10 seconds of basically rest, shake out your legs and move on to the next thing. I mean, we're not gonna be working so hard that we need to rest, but you might need to move your chair around or situate yourself or whatever. So it's, it's short amounts of time that we're working on tough stuff. In fact, let's go ahead and get started. Our first exercise is star balance, and this is the one of the ones that I love. We're gonna start with our hands up in the air, and we're gonna tip ourselves off balance. Yay! <laughs> did that go? It did not. Let's try that again. Here it is. 
Sometimes, sometimes I tell you what my friends were tipping to one side and then standing back up and then I'm gonna tell you what I was gonna tell you. So then we're tipping to the other side and standing back up. I know you wanna go faster than this. We're not going fast. We're not getting a ton done. We're gonna hang here in the tipped over position for a little bit of time. If that's one second or three seconds or whatever, but just a little bit of time. And we're figuring out how far over can I go without actually falling over. For you, that might be almost nothing, 10 seconds of rest. Here's what I was gonna tell you. Actually, let me tell you this. Overhead to high knees is coming up next. Hand's gonna be up overhead again. Lots of shoulder work today, by the way. <laughs> Just a little warning there. Overhead, down to one high knee, and we're hanging there for a couple of seconds, and then back up, and then the other high knee. So the thing about whether or not the timer was going, you guys, I don't know how long you've been working out with me, but I've been working out with me for you know six years now on YouTube, and I tell you what, I hear this timer in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> even, even when I'm not timing anything, even when I'm not doing intervals, I always hear the beeper. And then sometimes I'm like, did I actually hear that? And that time I did, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing cross body crunches. Hands are on your shoulders. You're reaching your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee and your knee is coming up. So we're meeting in the middle here. We're crunching in the middle. Whew, and then we're crunching in the middle on the other side. Now again, I know you wanna go fast on this. It's easier if you go faster, right? Uh -uh. That's why we're going slow, my friends. Find a pace that works for you. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that you have to go, oh, like that one when I almost fell out of it. I'm not going to tell you that you have to go, like, hanging in the middle there for five seconds or whatever. But challenge yourself to find exactly how long you can hold there. Ten seconds of rest. We're not trying to get a lot of reps done. This is about practicing in small doses. We're doing side bends next. Feet about hip width apart. Core is super straight. Hips, oh my gosh, are not moving to the side at all. We're going up and overhead, and then we're going the other direction on the other side. Now here's the thing, if you let your hip jut out, this is a hip complex exercise. You'll feel that in your inner and outer thighs and in your booty tomorrow. If you keep your hips super, super still, oh, you're gonna feel this in your abs and obliques, my friends. This is all side bending muscles. Oh my gosh, Whew, 10 seconds of rest. I call those the grunting muscles. <laughs> Coming up next, we are doing overhead side crunches. So again, working those obliques, gonna have both hands up overhead, bringing one elbow down to that same knee, and then back up, and then the other elbow down to the other knee, and then back up. This lateral movement, oh my gosh, first of all, it's just hard for me in my hips because I don't really bend this way, <laughs> but also this is another long hang time here while we are, oh my gosh, really thinking about finding balance on one foot. You're working your external abs and obliques, the, you know, the six pack of abs that you can see, 10 seconds of rest, but we're also working our deep core stabilizers. Coming up next, we're gonna do a front kick, back kick, and we're gonna go back and forth on our feet here, so we're not trying to do all on one side. And it's literally what it sounds like, we're gonna front kick, and then we're gonna back kick and then put that foot down. And then we're gonna front kick and then we're gonna back kick. And yes, I know this one's not easy. The, the exercises are not getting easier as we get down the list. But again, we're working in small doses so that you can really work. I mean, the only way to get better at this kind of work is to keep trying. 10 seconds of rest. Okay, coming up next. Coming up next, we're doing something that I am a little nervous about. We're doing around the world bends. So we're gonna have our hips, again, super duper stable. We're gonna bend to one side and then up. And then we're gonna bend forward without pushing your hips back, which is the thing that I tell you to do all the time. And then we're gonna bend the other way. And then we're gonna bend back without letting your hips jut forward. So your hips are super, super, super stable. Oh my gosh, but your abs are going through every single plane of motion that they have and your lower back a little bit too and hopefully in a good way. Don't, don't squeeze too much, 10 seconds of rest. You guys always, always be careful with what you got. Here's our last exercise in our circuit and yes, it is a circuit, it's letter K's. Starting with our hands up overhead because we do that. I'm gonna bring out one hand and one foot. And yes, we do this as cardio sometimes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite low impact cardio moves, but oh my goodness, when we slow this down, how do you feel those abs 
Oh, with a little bit of bonus booty work in there too. And even, even kind of some inner and outer thighs. You know, the thing is, my friends, when we do any kind of work, we're never working just your abs. Even, honestly, even when you're doing crunches down on the ground, you're never working just your abs. 10 seconds of rest and we're gonna come back and do that circuit. Well, we're gonna do it two more times actually, but one more time right now, <laughs> star balance. So once again, hands up overhead. We're gonna to tip to one side like a little teapot. Oh my gosh, wow, that was a little bit fast because I went over way too far. And then we're gonna to tip to the other side. Awesome job. See how far over you can get without falling over. We're not doing a ton of these. You're doing just enough to feel like you've made some progress today, to feel like you have got a little bit better at your balance. I used to call these plus signs, but I realized that I could literally never get all the way over 10 seconds of rest into like an actual plus sign. <laughs> And that's when I changed the name to Star Balance. <laughs> Coming up next, we're doing overhead to high knees. You know, over the years, I have changed a lot of names. Here's overhead and then down to high, one high knee at a time. I've changed the names of different exercises because sometimes I get a real mental block, either because, I mean, like I said, with the, the plus signs, because I literally could not make a plus sign, so why in the world would I call it that? But sometimes exercises, you know, I, I call them what I'm doing, but sometimes my brain can't quite wrap around what that means. And you'll probably find this too, 10 seconds of rest, that sometimes you have to tell yourself something else in order to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. When it beeps again, we're doing cross body crunches. So hands on your shoulders here, opposite elbow towards that opposite knee. And you guys, I really apologize. I feel like you can hear this on camera. My dog is just in the other room. I don't know if you can see her on camera. I don't think you can, but she is just, she's shaking and jingling. She's been very restless today. So if you have dogs, they are probably going crazy right now. And I, I apologize for that. One of my favorite things, if you are on Facebook, come on over and see me in the Killer Beehive. It's my private Facebook group. There's a link in the description box below, 10 seconds of rest. And then coming up next, we're doing side bends. I love it when people post pictures of their animals who are watching my animals on screen. Here we go with side bends only as far as your abs and obliques can take you and not as far as your hips can take you. Because here's the thing, if your hips jut out, oh my gosh, you could probably get all the way down to the ground. I mean, if you let your booty do this work, your glutes are significantly larger muscles and more powerful muscles than your abs and obliques. Abs and obliques, I mean, they have their place. They All your power comes from your core, but your core includes, oh my gosh, your glutes. Okay, Whew, okay. Coming up next, we're doing overhead side crunches. So once again, hands up overhead, bringing your same elbow down to that same side. So crunching on the side and then crunching, oh, without falling over on the other side. I mean, unless you fall over. I say without falling over, like, because that's the goal. That's, that's what I'm aiming for is not falling over. But you, you do you, my friend. We're doing what we can. And here's the thing. Anytime you need to touch down you know, faster than I am or grab onto a wall or a chair or the couch or whatever, 10 seconds of rest. I don't ever want you to take that as, oh, I couldn't do something. Coming up next, we are doing front kick, back kick. The fact is, you still did the motion. So here's the front kick, here's the back kick, and then here's the switch because we're not trying to do this all on one side. You are doing your best with what you have right now. And honestly, that's all any of us are doing. The fact is, if somebody looks amazing while they're doing this, they're doing their best also. It has nothing to do with some like minimum standard that you have to meet. You're doing your best. That is the best. 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next is those around the world bends. And that sounds, it sounds funny to me. I think maybe that's why I'm nervous about this exercise <laughs> because getting the bends, I mean, I've never gone scuba diving and I have zero interest in ever going scuba diving. And here we go, bending forward, nice and gentle, especially on the forward and back. There's really such a small, small, small range of motion when your hips aren't helping you with that. So really thinking about having your hips stay super, super stable and Focusing on that crunch in your abs and the work in your obliques. Even as you're bending backwards, 
You're using your abs to keep you from falling backwards. 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing letter Ks. And this is our second time through the, the circuit. We've only got one more time after this. So that word bends, <laughs> I just, I feel like, I feel like that has a negative connotation. Except when I say side bends, that one doesn't bother me. But around the world bends, for me, that seems like something that's unpleasant. So I might have to rename that exercise <laughs> too. You guys, here in the letter K, on one side it's the letter K, on the other side it is not. We're just thinking about standing up straight and tall, holding in that core, always, always, always thinking about holding in your core, squeezing from your abs, and then 10 seconds of rest. Okay, you guys, one more time through, and then that's it. I mean, I don't have any surprise round four or anything like that. We've got one more time through. Here we go again with those star balance. Really feeling that work in my shoulders now. We got a little bit extra, a little bit of extra bonus today. And I know, I know that some of you, some of my bees, like almost all of you, <laughs> You are thinking to yourself, oh, Paula, this, this exercise is so slow moving. I haven't done anything towards my goals today. That is, that is something I hear a lot because I know that we all have this thing in our head, 10 seconds of rest. Like we have to be drenched in sweat for a workout to be good for us. Coming up next, we're doing overhead to high knees. And I want you to know that that is absolutely, positively, 100% not true. You are doing something good for your body every single time you are moving your body, whether you are moving fast or slow or anything in between. <sighs> Holding that core, standing up straight and tall. I know, I'm, I'm getting so passionate about my topic here. I really have to think about not tipping over when we're doing these overhead to high knees. The fact is, when you are strengthening your core muscles and working on your balance, 10 seconds of rest, you are actually doing more good for yourself than almost any other kind of work you could do. Crossbody crunches are coming up next. We've got our opposite elbow. Or no, yeah, elbow. I was thinking about having your hands on your shoulders, and then I thought I said the wrong word. So your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee with your hands on your shoulders, really squeezing and crunching there in the middle really thinking ooh, about holding in your core so that you don't have to flop that foot down. Putting your foot down as slowly and as under control as you possibly can. Sometimes that's not a lot. Sometimes, sometimes it feels amazing and sometimes it feels like you're just going to tip out of everything. Coming up next, we've got side bends. <laughs> I didn't think about this. You guys, I'm having a tough time reading my whiteboard today. So here we go. Bending to the side and up. And bending to the side and up. Hips are super, super stable. You're actually getting a little bit of extra benefit there. Oh my gosh, by trying so hard not to move them that you're squeezing them in place. <laughs> so you are still kind of working your glutes, right? Oh my gosh. When it beats again, we're going to get 10 seconds of rest. And this is the last time that we are doing side bends all by themselves. Because of course we got those around the world bends like coming up later, but coming up right now is overhead side crunches. So you're gonna have your hands up overhead, bringing your same elbow towards your same knee, kind of widening out that hip if you can. As I mentioned, this is this is the the plane of motion in which I am least flexible. So I find my hips kind of rotating on this one, but I want you to focus on your abs. Really focus on squeezing there in the middle, thinking about standing on a nice straight leg without locking your knee. Always pulling your power from your core, pulling in your abs. And 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing front kick, back kick. And I've noticed, I've noticed after all these years of practicing by starting on my, my less strong leg that I very naturally have started with my left leg on the ground every single time, which is kind of funny. I have come to the point in my balance work after 10 years <laughs> that my, my less strong leg feels almost as stable as my strong leg. I still always lead with my right leg for most things, most, most power moves. But slow moving stuff like this, I have learned that my left leg can operate almost exactly as well. 10 seconds of rest and then coming up next is those around the world bends. If you have a suggestion for something else to call these, I am wide open for it. I know that sometimes, here we go, around the world, that way, to the north, Oh my gosh, my hips totally wanted to push back behind me. <laughs> oh 
oh, my abs are getting tired, I'm feeling the burn, and this is what happens, my friends. When one part of your body starts to say, oh, I've totally done enough work, another part of your body will absolutely take over and offer to help. This is actually how we get pains and injury in our body, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next is letter K's. It's because, because our body is like, oh, I'll do that, no worries. Coming up next, we're doing letter K's, so hands up overhead, and we're gonna have that same arm and that same leg coming out to one side, oh golly, and then another, my friends. Who doggies. This is not easier on round three. <laughs> never is. But the good news is, is that when we are done with this, we are done. However, we are not quite finished. You know if you have been around here before. And I've noticed that I keep talking to you as though you have. I hope you have. That's really nice. Or if you haven't, 10 seconds of rest, then I hope you will continue to be around here for more. Coming up next, we're doing swinging knees to elbows. Hands on your shoulders again, elbows pointed forward. We're going to go opposite elbow same elbow and then put that foot down. So you're bringing your knee across your body and then on the same side of your body and then down. It's just one interval. We're not trying to make any more of this. Oh my gosh, then we need to because this is work, my friends. Squeeze, squeeze, oh, and down and squeeze. This might be our last one. It feels like these 30 second intervals have gone relatively quickly. I was not our last one. <laughs> There it is. But that was our last one. Let me turn off the timer now and we're gonna do some cool down stretching. I know I didn't get like super, super sweaty today. Let's go ahead and do those arm circles with some tappers, my friends. Oh, stretch out that chest. Ah, stretch out your abs. Whoo, rolling forward and backward. But here's the thing. As I previously mentioned, no matter, no matter what kind of a routine you are working on, this kind of work is so functional and so good for everything else you do. Cardio, strength, running, walking, anything. Balance work and standing abs is the foundation of every other kind of fitness you might have. It is never, ever, ever a waste of your time. Even if you didn't get sweaty, you guys. I hope you had a really good time today. Now, Honestly, no matter what kind of a routine you are working through, this moderate workout was enough. It absolutely was. I know some of you, though, are like, well, I could probably do a little bit more. I do have, even for a moderate day, depending on what's moderate for you, I do have a couple of other standing abs and balance workouts that are 10 minutes long. I will put a suggestion for you here on screen. If you are done, and my friend, please feel free to be done. This was enough today. Let's go ahead and do some arm openers and then arm crossers. Give yourself a big hug. Oh, and a pat on that back. Such a good job today. If you would like a longer extended cool down, I have that here for you on screen as well. Little bit more stretching, little bit more cooling down, little bit more gentle reintroduction to the world <laughs> after your workout. On the bottom of the screen is the letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon, where a monthly pledge from you can help me make free workouts for all of us, and I so appreciate your support if you do choose to do that. On the other side of the screen, it's a picture of me, but that's actually a subscribe button. As mentioned previously, make sure that you click that and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I have a new workout. You did such a great job today. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.